Planet of the Apes, 1974, Season 1, Episode 9, The Horse Race. Relax, yes, Oko. After all, it's only horse race. With half of my horses and half of my land, bet on result. Think of how rich you'll be if you win. If, if you insist on the race. You make all the arrangements you demand the bet. Have you ever lost a race to any prefect? It's always the first time my house is leading. Well, better luck next year. There is a first time. Shut up. Horse through a shoe. Who shot that horse? The blacksmith. I want that horse shot in time for the next race. A village of Verton. Is this happiness again? And if this happens again, I won't just kill the blacksmith. I'll kill you too. Not this free. You'll work for the little food I've given you. It wasn't necessary for you to give us the food. I never talked to an ape before. Really? Well, I mean, they talked to me. They know, give me all these things like that. But never, just like you and I are talking, saying things you feel like saying. Well, would you believe that uh, it's many years before I spoke to a human? Well, except for giving orders. Well, why should apes give orders? Why do they have, we have to obey? Well, there are no two answers to that. Mine and the authorities. See, mine isn't backed up by bullets. I think you should listen to authorities and horses. Alan, Pete, the horses. Stay here. You'll be safe. This is Oko's favourite horse. He's thrown a shoe. I take care of him well, sir. If it will, if you, you will, if you want to keep on living. But it puts a human, young human, Riding a horse near here. Human riding a horse? You must, they must be crazy. Why would anyone take a chance of being shot just to ride a horse? That's as crazy as you say. In any case, he could, he'll be caught. You know what the law is a human's riding? You've been, you've been seen. How many times I warned you? Being seen is not being caught. Don't worry, father, I'm careful. You're not careful. You just won't believe anything can harm you. Well, the apes can and they will. You're not too smart. You can go on fooling that you can't go. You're not too smart. You can go on fooling them forever. I'm not trying to fool them. Didn't see why. I don't care what you say, you see. I care about that you staying alive. Whenever you're risking your life trying to prove clever you are. Now, what's your word? You won't, won't ride again. Father can't. I've been bit. It's a tiger, some goblin. Set him down. Here he goes. A turnacray. Give me rope. Right. It's no use. What do you mean it's no use? Bad the antidote. The sting of the tiger scorpion is fatal. Where do we get an antidote? Clinic in town. I'll go. It's five miles. By the time you get back, Galen, you'll be dead. Marlin, I'm going to steal one of your horses. You'll be caught before you get halfway there. Maybe not. I'll go. No, you won't. If anyone's going to ride that, for that stuff, it's going to be Alan, Alan or me. Galen's our friend. I like him to be mine. Believe me, I will know a way back. I can be there and back in time. No time. You never make it. Galen would bid to die. Galen needs help now. Oh, yeah, okay, then go. Go if he, if he, if he can, just cannot have moved. Scorpion, tiger scorpion never stings. You don't move. I remember that's what I said. Stay off my leg. Excuse me, my brother's been bitten by a tiger scorpion. How long ago? A couple of minutes ago. Right down the road. They're telling you the truth? If it's been any longer, the antidote won't help. I will tell you the truth right here. It's been given mouth as soon as possible. Thank you. Halt. They make the camps here. We should, we could stay in the village. But there are too many narrow mouth humans here for the race. Ah, ah. Do you see his face? I think it's a blacksmith's son. I'm not sure. Shoot him. Ah, after him, he's back. They made it. Thanks. Use this immediately. Nice work, Gregory. You're indebted to you, Galen. Good boy. Barnes says he takes about half an hour for the antidote to work. It works. What's this? What happened? It's a bullet room. I have seen. But now, now we're in trouble. The bullet is stopped by his shoulder blade. They see nothing serious. Just be glad he missed me. Then let's get him into the barn. I'll see if we can dig a bullet out. Stay with him, Pete. The horse looks like it's been wounded. I see if I can't hand, lend a hand. Right, let's take a look at that. I had some experience with horses. I'm not too bad. Give me a knife. Hold this head 
hold his head right. Quick, Gregory, Gregory, out of sight. Come on, it was it you riding a horse? Do you deny it? I don't deny anything. This horse has been hurt. He's going to be taken care of. Take him to the village. You make an example of him. I rode the horse. So it was him after all. Come on, Gregory. Gregory, Gregory. Don't lie just to save my neck. Please, he's young. He meant no harm. He's his, uh, his own father confirms it. Let the other one go free. I won't be so easy on you. You ever lie to me again? Seize him. Now, please, very, very foolish. Invite you to witness the execution, a part of the celebration of the race. He is in your new set of perfect barber. You find it very good. Your horse will run well under it. It's no use. We have to take no chance of winning the race. Ogles will win as usual. It doesn't seem fair, fair. Where has Yoko ever been fair? Look at the way he transferred me here from Carmack. Yes, and the stakes, half my land and half my horses. If I lose, of course I lose. Martin, Galen's made me fine. Going to be fine. Pete, I told you over. We want to help you, Gregory. Gregory, if you have any, if there's any way, do you think we'd be here working? We can talk to the prefect. We won't tell him, Gregory. I was only riding to save an ape's life. The prefect would not listen to humans. We'll try, we'll try something else. We're going to look around. Verdon. It's small village, isn't it? We don't need an vacation. New perfect, Barlow. There's humans come and go freely. Barlow, Barlow, Gayland. What are you doing here? It's supposed to be bed. Oh, no, it's fine. Is it the same Barlow who used to be prefect? I came up. Mac? Yes, that's, that's what they say. Well, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. We talked to Barlow. We belong to bed in bed. No, no, no. Friend, friend of mine. I think you pay more attention if I talk to him. I tell him, I tell him you'll be delivering your message for two weeks for Scorpion. Fine. Just to make it more convincing. I'll go along the fate his presence. Very funny. Barlow, really your friend? Will he listen? Can we help to say Gregor? Gregory? I do anything I can. Come along. What are we waiting for? Galen to be reasonable. Verdon's five miles from here. I'm not strong enough to walk. I ain't my wealth of position. Two human servants walk. I can borrow a horse, can I? Money run away. Oh, you took walk. I please be sure to maintain a respectable distance behind me. Mm-hmm. Someone to see you, sir. Who? I don't know, sir. Didn't give me his name, but he said he's a friend of yours. We came, uh, Mac. Please come in. Oh, Galen, the Verdon and work. What are you doing here? Don't you know what it's look, still looking for you? Of course, but I certainly had to see you. They were looking wonderful. Oh, you probably need my help again. Oh, no, no, no. No, not us. But a friend of ours. A human arrested for running a horse. Oh, the, that one, young Gregory. Friend of yours, yes. There was absolutely nothing undo. He saved my life, Gregory, and strung by a scorpion. If I died of Gregory and put, could come to town to get the antidote, he did it for his own, what I want to be, uh, um, if he can, if he could get it to Zeus and tell him that, is just a pill of Zeus, because it saved the life of an outlaw. You don't have to put it that way. Of course not. Come on, Barlow, be reasonable. Well, there wasn't time. I tried to be reasonable. Now I'm less respon- responsible, reasonable, and more safe. I ate it here. I want to go back, go home, back to coma. Heck, there's a chance that I can't if I keep my record clean. I can if I keep my record clean. It's a comfortable job. More important than saving a boy's life, sympathy for humans, when they behave themselves, they know their place. That, but that fool, boy's a fool, you know, deserves punishment. The same game as life is a wonder that horse can throw the boy. The law to protect humans as well. Only apes know how to handle horses. I grew up on horses. I've been riding them since I was seven. No, no, no. Humans can't ride a horse. Ride like apes. For what it's worth, Alan's as good as a rider as anyone in this whole world. To tell you the truth, my son and friends won't lie. Don't lie, would you? Would you be willing to prove that your skill is not your talk, not only talk? What about Gregory? Well, let's see how you can ride first. We're talking about Gregory and I, right? Never ever ridden right? Never without a rider. He runs like the wind. But she's a killer. No ape has been able to ride him. Forget it. So you're not the great rider you say you are. Now you give me one good reason why I should risk my neck on a wild horse. If you can ride him, I'll be very helpful to him, huh? All right, I'll do it. Good, saddle him up, Martin. Aha, uh-huh. come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, look at him. 
I told you you could ride. Um, come on, come on. Well, come on. Woo, woo. Well, here you go. There, you're not as tough as you thought you were. But a beautiful animal, good riding for human thinking. Never saw a horse go so fast, maybe, because you've never seen a horse you're joking for. Uh, I have a proper vision to make for you. And turning to race the very best horse against the fast horse in territory. Where you to go? You to ride? Will do. Ferdinand can't ride in a race. He's seen a certain influence with us. I let him, I get him to make an exception. What are you saying? Why should I do, say anything? I'm interested in racing. You ride, Wooda. I get Zeus to pardon your friend, Gregor. Gregory, is that it? Is this, if you win? Okay, you got it. Wait. What if he loses? Well, well, Gregor. Gregory dies, of course. If you don't ride, he's certain to be shot. Excuse me? Do you know who Oko is? Yes, sir. I just saw him. Does he know, come to town often? No, sir. Only for so important, like a big race. No. I don't, I want to feel your departure anyway. I knew I couldn't trust Barlow. Come in, Barlow. What is it? This I hear. Are you serious? You're going to use a human to jock in the race? I've given permission by it from Zeus. You're a bigger fool than I thought. All Zeus has done, make a certain your horse will lose the mine. We shall see. Who is this human? Who's fool enough to ride against one of my apes? What does it matter? He's just a human. Well, he's ever ridden a horse before. Yes, he's quite good. I trained him myself. Oh, well, in that case, we won't mind if we raise the stakes a little bit. How much? Instead of half yours, it's all of them. You lose in all of your lands. Now, if when, what do you want? Transfer me back to Kmart. But, hmm, well, if that's what you want, turn to win this race. Everything that we have depends on it. We're going to win. When Oko sees Alan on your horse, he's going to kill him, and it's us too. Don't understand you. Don't you feel guilty about triggering us? Absolutely. Well, that's a big help. Well, what was I to do? The force in this race, I tell you, fortune, future depends on it. Besides, I wasn't sure what Urko was, that Urko was coming. Oh, I asked to boost, and I used to boast about honour among apes. I was speaking of honour. I don't like to spread gossip, but to talk that Urko's horse. Doesn't always win by fair means. It is designed to cheer us up. It's only trying to be big help to us both. Come on, Galen. But where? Well, if Yoko was going, or uh, as all is going for him, maybe we should jiggle a few odds to get in our favour. Uh, make it deep and muddy. I wish I could help you. Ah, but you've got to, you've got to keep up appearance. Yeah, right. I mean, if someone saw me doing something like that, they'd say, why are you doing such things? Such work is, is for humans. Otherwise, it would have been right in there, giving you a hand. Where well, you, you cut it off? Uh, hey, you cut it out. You love it. Anyway, I'm doing what you asked me to do, even if I don't understand it. Do you think it's really going to help, Burden? You're going to. You're getting warm, buddy. You're getting warm. Warm, warm. I'm not least bit warm. Sometimes I do not understand you at all. First of all. Make me carve a spool with notches in it, and now, what are you complaining about? I have one who's doing all the hard work, the terrible wee, thinner, Martin. You're gonna make it thinner. A race has got a little bit thin, like white the horses. Shoes and his hooves. Ergo's race horses are the same shoes as any other horse. That's the point. That's why we have an advantage. A horse race, every little bit helps. If you help, say my son, I make them feather like, twist them, but leave the way open at the side. Carl gone, had told us to ride my horses across the where they will clear, be clear of the vines. The human be stupid enough to jump across the middle. I want to be sure he falls. Some vines here, make it thicker, some vines here. Well, vines here, there you go, Martin. With these shoes, the only thing that gorillas can see, wonders tell, don't see how you've got hope. You hope to beat Urko, his horse never loses. Come on, Martin. Nobody's got that race, nobody's got the race sewn up. Even if you do win, what's well, to keep Urko from killing you just for down there, train a red horse? I'm not gonna ride up to Urko and see if he shoots me. Got a couple of tricks of our sleeve. I know what you do, you're doing is for Gregory. I won't thank you. If you think Urko Gregory was surely, if you trick Urko Gregory was surely playing, if anyone go, goes right, if everything goes right, we'll bail it, Gregory, and it will be clear. I've got to take Oko's horse to him. I'm going to take, ask him to let me take Gregory's place. Don't care what happens to me. This way, you don't have to ride. 
be out of danger, so will Gregory. Ah, uh, Greg Virgo doesn't make uh, that kind of deal. Look, Gregory's only chance for me to win that race. I think I've got a pretty good shot at it. Come on, beat that if you can. That if you can. Ah, a little out of practice, Volo. What about the tree? There's something special planned. And uh, what? A net? Better work. Zero, you know what you... You'll be in place of a human is winning. You pass as you shoot him. Of course, the human will be surely lose the race. Should I shoot him anyway? Just a Rodian Zeus has given his permission. It's t- one time. Anyway, he isn't enough, poor enough to kill a human just because he loses the race. We just have, a, have another young human. So, for example, Erko the blacksmith. Ah, what do you want? Excuse me, Mark. I don't want to shut your horse. What do you want? I want, I could be a help you. I have also shot the horse Barlow, a race against you. I know how to make sure you win. Is there any doubt by winning the race? Yes. Barlow horse wonder is very fast. I know how to fix his shoes and wedges and make, cause great pain slowing down. I know where to put them. It would be, would be found out until too late. Why do you want to help me against Barlow, who pampers all the humans? It's my son, Gregory. He's the one that's been sent to die. Please, he's very young. We don't know him. He, just, he didn't think. He, he let him go, and I promise you, we'll never run a horse again. I'll help you win. Gregory will be safe, and there'll be no need to worry about the other men. But in Barlow's horse, say nothing about this to anyone. My horse wins the race. I set your foes firm free. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello. It deletes the human from the cage. On the start, what, what? If the black fish is lying. What is to be done to the human who tries to run away escape? In the meantime, the human is winning. Kill him before he reaches the finish line. Uh-huh. If the human is losing, kill him when he reaches the finishing line. It's a matter when. Look at that horse. A mi- oh, missing horse. Love racing. Well, Barlow. We're we'll finally right at the moment of truth, not quite. The moment of truth comes at the finish line. Well, we we'll see. It's quite a show you're putting on here today. We're always trying to please and all. Is anything prepared? Everything will be in the to-, to your total satisfaction, Oko. Okay. Good, Barlow. This may come as a surprise to you, but it's like losing so much. I always make it, uh, made it a habit of women winning. I always thought the enjoyment of the race, depending on being unsure of the outcome. Well, don't worry about my enjoyment of race. I intend to have a marvellous time. Ah, there are the horses. Well, I see your horse. But where's your wonderful human jockey? Ah, oh, I'll certainly be here. There's time. The race won't begin for a while yet. It's all right if he doesn't turn up. I don't mind winning by default. I don't like the way the horse is acting. Don't like anything about this whole race. Well, and now is it probably, now is probably as good as any. Be careful, you better take it. Of first, Galen. There's something the matter with that horse. Maybe you're just nervous being near the cloud. Soon find out. See you after race, Pete. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Me too, yeah. Wonderful jockey, yeah, you're human. So if you can't sit on the horse. Hey, that's great. You look awful, Erko. would never recognise him. Oh, hey, hey, easy, easy, come on. Hey, what's the matter with him? But there's nothing wrong with him. He'll be fine, good luck. Hey, Pete, look at this. Give me your knife. Holding up the race. Race never started on time. Well, was it? Well, well, this one does. That's it. Well, let me get that one. Get that one and start the race. Get ready for the start straight away. Okay. Oh, good. Let's get the other one too. I said start the race now. Bring your horses to the starting line. Three times for the village. Around the course. I pull it. Okay, good start. You put these wedges in the horses' shoes. Why? You didn't, you didn't take them out. Yes, of course I did. I promise circle. Make a verdict or one lose. Gregory spared. I was running the race to save the sun. He can't. Urko's a gorilla. We're there to kill him. If he wins, two more to go. There he goes. There he goes. Well, Barlow's all over. Too late, Barlow. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I think it's time we made our move. Be careful. Go and move. Oh, I won. I won. I won. That's random. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Shoot him. As Vernon, your jockey, human jockey was Vernon. The villagers, is that a fact? Oh, well, it's nothing to do with your I'll bet. Kept the horses, follow them, follow them. Your Barlow's horse win the race, yes. 
Now they could run, run. Why should I run? They're supposed to be free. You run because they had to tell you to run. No, something wrong. Move out of there. Or I'll shoot you right where you are. Pete, Pete, yo ho, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Come on, come on this way. Let's go, hey ya, hey ya. You, have you seen this fugitive? Yes, for you, when he, when he ran the race. But I don't know if I thought you wouldn't do anything about this boy I had. Oh, how I'd learned dream. I thought you would dare to ride a horse. Under Urko's very nose. I don't trust you, Barlo. Oh, Urko, I'm honourable age. I don't lie. I don't break promises. I don't pay by... I always pay my debts when I lose. Payments have been arranged, yes, I know. On my way back to Kmart, Mac, I heard you... I had heard what you said to Urko. You don't lie. Perhaps not. But you certainly know how to tie the truth, you do not. I always said I don't break promises. Where are they? Uh huh. The two may come and live with me in Kamek. They'll be safe. But you, you're not to ride on horses. Yes, Prefect. Well, I'm watching. Thank you, Prefect. Thank you. Goodbye. Friend, friend.